you can also use the Draw Applique tool to create freeform applique. You can scan directly into the Quilter program by clicking on the scan icon, or you can import artwork to help serve as a guide for adding this type of applique. I'm going to click on Load Artwork and select the Celtic Spirals and click on Open. I can resize my artwork by clicking and dragging on a control handle to get it the size that I want, and then select the artwork as well as the block and align centers. I can dim the artwork. I can also hide the artwork by clicking on Show Hide Artwork in the standard toolbar. That will hide the artwork. To bring it back, click on it again. And if I want it bright, I can click on Dim Artwork again. Select the Draw Applique tool and use right and left clicks to go around your artwork. Backspace will erase one click at a time. And use the same principles as you do for digitizing other objects like you do in the embroidery canvas. I'll let the software close my shape by pressing Enter and then press Enter again to generate the applique. As you can see, I made a mistake when I created this applique piece. No worries, we have reshape as well. I can move control points. I can change control points here. There's a left click that should have been a right. I select it and press the space bar. I can add points. I can delete points. The same kind of reshaping applies to these shapes as you find in the embroidery canvas. After reshaping, I'll select the applique, and then I want to send it to the back. So I can deselect it, select the artwork, and delete the artwork. I can now edit the fabric if I wish to choose a different fabric by selecting the paintbrush, clicking on the fabric I wish to change it to, and then clicking on the quilt block. If I want to print my applique pattern, I can go to Print Preview and put a dot on Applique, click OK, and you can see the applique that's added to the block, and I also get an applique pattern that has my quarter-inch seam allowance if I wish to do hand-turn applique.